We start this morning with lightning. It has been on everyone's mind for the last several days after what we saw over the weekend and for good reason. Yeah, incredible video here, but scary too. After several house fires, the school fire and even half a dozen people struck on Clearwater Beach over the weekend. A lot of people are wondering what we can do to protect ourselves. And Brightside's Jenny Dean is here with a look at lightning, the detection system that's keeping kids safe at some schools. Yeah, it is beautiful, isn't it? Even mesmerizing, but it can be deadly. This is from, from, from one of our recent storms right off Gandy Boulevard in St. Pete. But whenever the sky lights up like this, it's a painful reminder for one Florida family. 11-year-old Jesse Watlington was killed in 2012 when he was struck by lightning during a football practice at a school in Fort Myers. Now, after Jesse died, his parents, Chuck and Alda, started a foundation and went on a mission to help others. They found something called the Weatherbug Lightning Detection System, and they now donate that system to schools around Florida in Jesse's memory. Well, what we're doing is uh, we want to make sure that our son is the last child needlessly struck by lightning in the state of Florida. And basically, the Weatherbug sounds an alarm when there's lightning within six miles of that system that lets students and teachers know that they need to head inside since there's really no way to predict exactly where lightning is going to strike. And so far, the Jesse Watlington Memorial Foundation has donated 50 of those lightning detection systems to schools around the state. So pretty cool. But since not everybody has access to those grant, that's why it's important to bring you here. There is a way that we can kind of have our own distance lightning detection. Yeah, and you know, we must say, whenever you can hear thunder, you know, you want to get inside. Right. It's going to be the safe, safest thing to do. And thunder is that early warning sign that lightning is in the area. And here's how you can tell how close it is, Jenny. So after you see lightning start counting until you hear the thunder from okay. that lightning bolt. So every five seconds that goes by, that's one mile for the distance that that thunder has traveled from that lightning bolt. So if you see the lightning bolt and say you count 15 seconds, mm -hmm. that means that that lightning bolt is three miles away. So if it takes 15 seconds for that thunder to get to you, yeah. that lightning bolt is three miles away. I've heard that this is uh, that this is something you could do. I just thought it was an old wives tale, but that's actually something that can really help you judge the distance. Yeah, but of course, obviously get inside when you hear that. Yes, thunder, right? when, when thunder roars, head indoors, so, right? Yeah. <laughs>